kakalbas lang ng bagong 4016 na Nvidia pero kung napapanood mo yung YouTube alam mo na na sobrang bulok niya sabi ni Hardware Unboxed it's Nvidia clowning around again Linus didn't even bother to film a proper review he literally just phoned it in and Steve of Gamers Nexus said that it wasn't as egregiously bad as the 4060 Ti which is not saying much sobrang kinatay siya ng mga tech YouTubers pero sobrang ibang usapan naman sa print media with Tom's hardware saying it's around 22% faster than the 3060, which is around the same marketing claims as NVIDIA. TechSpot says it has commendable performance. And PC Gamer calls it a fundamentally good video card. So, saan tayo pupuesto? Kanino tayo maniniwala? Now, we don't have a 4060 card on hand. Philippines, high priority tech market. Do you know what's also useful and quite affordable? Getting rid of that pesky watermark by obtaining an original and discounted Widow's product key from our sponsor, CD Key Offer. Step 1. Click on the link in our video description corresponding to the version of Windows you want. I'll select Windows 10 Pro. Step 2. Make an account with CD Key Offer. Step 3. Add to cart. Use our discount code HS20 and you'll receive a 25% discount. But we do have all of this data from tech journalists, both YouTubers and print media tech journalists. So I thought it would be a good idea to break down the data, to separate the hype from the hate, the RGB from the FPS, and the DLSS from the FSR and the XESS, and figure out, okay ba talaga tong 4060? Let's start out with who would be interested in this card. Now, if you have a card from a previous generation ago, NVIDIA 3000 or AMD 6000 series, you probably shouldn't be interested in this card. Heck, even if you have a card from two generations ago na maganda-ganda pa, medyo mabilis pa, you don't really need to be interested. But if you are looking for a new card, not an upgrade from an okay card, but really a new card for a new build or from a really old card, the 4060 does deliver excellent 1080p performance and decent 2K performance in a lot of games. Not all of them, but a decent number. So the 4060 is for someone who's in the market for a new card, targeting 1080p performance with a stretch to 1440p. There are a variety of payment options available. Click Pay Now, and we will finish the rest of these instructions at the latter part of our video, so stay tuned. Now for basic tech specs, it only has 8GB of VRAM and a 192-bit bus memory bandwidth. That's not the greatest. We've seen other cards, even from previous generations, have more VRAM and a larger bus. But putting it into perspective, you can run most games now at 1080p with those specs. It's just that a lot of people are saying now that looking towards the future, most games will probably need at least 12GB and even AAA games now are choking at 8 gigabytes if you're trying to get higher than 1080p. So the 4060 will run most games at 1080p at very good frame rates, but that's for the moment. The criticism of its hardware is more for future-oriented games. Marabi rin tweeting in sa power efficiency niya at dito panalo yung 4060. It uses around 35 watts less than its predecessor indicating it's a more efficient chip. It can do more with less power. So we've heard about the hardware. It's a little underpowered for a modern day card, but still good for current games. And the price is around $300 SRP. Of course, mas mahal sa atin dito when it ever gets around to being released here. So aside from the raw performance, kamusta yung price to performance? And dun nagagalit talaga yung mga tao. Para sa karamihan ng mga tech YouTubers, sinasabi nila, Dapat pang 4050 to. In fact, yung hardware parang kinuha lang dun sa laptop versions of the 40 series cards. The laptop versions of the cards being cut down, less powerful than the desktop versions. So, in a way, this is kind of like an expanded laptop card. Mostly dito na focus si mga tech YouTubers na bakit to linabas as a 4060. O nga, $300 nga siya. Kunwari, maganda siya for mid-range market. But if you're looking at the price to performance, mahina yung improvement nitong 4060. Anak ng tokwa tong no NVIDIA na to. Wala talagang paki sa customers. Print media may be less inclined to hype things up. 
have pointed out that the performance is there naman. Mas mabilis naman siya compared to the 3060 by around 20% or so in line with the claims of NVIDIA, at least for 1080p gaming. Pero kumpara mo dun sa previous generation, 3060 Ti, for a lot of the games tested, mas mabilis pa yung one step higher na card of the previous generation, 3060 Ti, compared to the 4060. And that does go into the price to performance because you can get previous generation cards for much cheaper now on the second hand market. But kapag bibili nung brand new na 4060, kung may second hand naman na 3060 Ti, which usually can outperform the 4060, na mas mura second hand. So price to performance, not that great for the 4060, but we'll talk more about the alternatives from AMD and from Intel. Bago natin E1 yung performance, we do need to take note that in terms of raw performance, the card is an excellent 1080p performer in most games. Maraming reviewers nagsasabi na pagdating mo sa 2K, medyo mahina na siya. But if you actually take a look at their numbers, they're very playable FPS in a lot of games. We're talking like 60 and over. Again, for a $300 card at 2K, pretty good in terms of raw performance. And I keep saying raw performance because kailangan natin i-differentiate between performance with RTX and performance with DLSS on. Dito medyo nagiging complicated yung usapan. Because you probably will still get good 1080p performance with RTX on. It does take a more serious performance hit when you're trying to do 2K RTX. And dun mo na talaga makita if you prefer games at a good graphics quality versus games na FPS talaga habol mo in business graphics quality. And I haven't mentioned any 4K performance because really this is not a 4K card. You shouldn't be expecting it to do 4K at this price point. Kaya yung nagba-benchmark pa ng 4K, I think those are just useless numbers. Unfair naman sa 4016, I expect mo pa siya na maganda yung 4K performance niya. You are getting a performance hit though once you start turning on RTX, especially for 2K gaming. And finally, yung isa pang consideration is DLSS. It is a 40 series card so it uses the latest DLSS 3. And with DLSS 3, maganda yung performance niya. You do see significant performance. Pero, konti pa lang yung games ngayon na nagso-support ng DLSS. With no indication in the future of just how many games will actually be supporting this particular flavor of NVIDIA's upscaling technology. After you've finished paying, you'll find your Windows product key within your account profile. Go to Windows Activator, Copy and paste that key in there, and you are good to go. Remember to use our discount code HS20 to get that 25% discount. So if you're kind of in the market for a card like the 4060, but not specifically the 4060, any more alternatives mo? As mentioned, the 3060 Ti still mostly outperforms the 4060 in current games now. But the big winner in a lot of the benchmarks has to be AMD 6700 XT. This has more VRAM, so you're better positioned for the future games, as well as mas mura na siya ngayon. Since it is a previous gen card, it has seen a lot of nice price drops, so you can probably find it at around the same price as the 4060 or even cheaper. So a 6700 XT, 6750 XT gets you around the same performance, probably even faster, and you're probably better positioned for future AAA games which won't use DLSS 3. Yun nga, it's kind of hard to judge at this point kasi ang laki ng performance gain with those games using DLSS 3 which is not open to AMD's GPUs. The previous Gen 3060 would be a step down. At least very clear naman sa performance natin na mas mabilis naman talaga yung 4060 and you can find a good 3060 12GB version, not the 8GB version at a decent price. And let's not forget Intel, the A750 is basically in the same range as the 4060. You might even want to pony up a bit more for the A770. So bottom line time, should you buy the 4060 or basura nga ba talaga siya? But you know what they say about other people's trash. And I'm not as negative on the 4060 compared dun sa ibang tech YouTubers. Even based on their numbers, may performance gains naman talaga siya compared to the previous 3060. But I do agree, medyo konti lang yung clear-cut use cases for the 4060. There are a lot of other compelling options based on price and performance. So this won't be a big headliner thing, the 4060 sucks, I should always get the 4060. It really depends on context. 
what build you're going to use it for, what games do you play, what resolution do you play at, and perhaps most importantly, magkano ba talaga mabibili mo? Para sa atin, $300 for a 4060, mura na yun. Kasi yung 3060 na bago pa lang sa atin, almost 20,000 pesos pa rin siya. <laughs> so $300 for a 4060, first world problem yun. Wala kang problema na ganun, kasi for sure, mas mahal yung 4060 sa atin. It's not as bad as the hate is making it out to be, but definitely, it's not a clear home run. If you're looking to do a new build with certain budgetary requirements, or you're doing a major GPU upgrade, tumatalon ka from a very old card to the latest generation, tapos 1080p hanap mo, and you're not too worried that you want to play the latest and the greatest AAA games two or three years down the line at higher resolutions, then perhaps the 4060 is for you. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.